Hello friends, myself Mohammad Sohil and today I am going to teach you human digestive system. But before I start the video, I request to all of you please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more informative video. So without any further delay, let's get started. First of all, in this video we are going to see what do we mean by digestive system and what are the different type of digestive glands are present in the digestive system. So the digestive system of human beings consist of an alimentary canal and the associated digestive glands. So first of all, what is alimentary canal? So the human alimentary canal begins with mouth and ends in the anus. It is a long muscular tube of varying di diameter consisting of esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Let's discuss one by one. First, mouth. In the mouth, there are teeth which masticate the food and converge larger particles of food into smaller ones. The tongue helps in the tasting the food and rolling it into a soft ball. There are salivary glands in the mouth which secrete saliva. Second, that is esophagus. The esophagus is a narrow tube carrying the food to the stomach. Due to peristalsis, the food is pushed forward in the elementary canal. Then third, stomach. The stomach is a J-shaped muscular organ situated on the left side of the abdomen. Muscle of the stomach also undergo peristalsis and push the food forward. In the stomach, the food is mixed thoroughly with the gastric juice secreted by the gastric gland present in the stomach wall. There is a sphincter muscle at the lower end of the stomach. This sphincter muscle releases the partially digested food into the small intestine. Now coming to small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of the elementary canal measuring about 5 to 6 meter. It has a small diameter. The inner wall of the small intestine has numerous finger like projection called villi. Villi are the richly supplied with the blood vessels. Two main functions takes place in the small intestine that is the completion of digester, digestion and the absorption of digested food. Now large intestine. The large intestine has a larger diameter and a length of about 1.5 meter. Absorption of water and salts takes place here through the villi present in the wall of large intestine. It does not have any digestive function but stores the undigested food for some time. Now last that is anus. The anus is the opening of the elementary canal to the outside after absorption of water and salts. The undigested food that is excreta is thrown out of the body through anus. Movement of anus is regulated by voluntary sphincter muscle. Now coming to second that is associated digestive glands. The digestive glands associated with the elementary canal are as follows. First that is salivary glands in mouth. The salivary glands secrete saliva containing an enzyme called salivary amylase which helps in partial digestion of starch into sugar maltose. Second, gastric glands. The gastric glands are present in the wall of the stomach. They secrete gastric juice. Gastric juice contains an enzyme pepsin dilute hydrochloric acid and mucus. Pepsin is a protein digesting enzyme. Dilute HCl helps in maintaining acidic medium in the stomach. Mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from the ill effects of hydrochloric acid. Then third, liver. The liver is the largest gland in the body. It secretes bile juice which is temporarily stored in the gallbladder. Bile duct from the gallbladder release bile juice into the small intestine. Bile makes the food alkaline and helps in the breaking larger fat globules into smaller ones for easier enzymatic action. Then second last that is pancreas. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice. It has three types of enzyme. First trypsin which is protein digesting. Second lipase which is fat digesting. And third pancreatic amylase which is a carbohydrate digesting enzyme. Now coming to last that is intestinal glands. The intestinal glands secretes various enzymes that bring about the completion of digestion.